What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we're going to be comparing glamping and boondocking. Glamping, which is a mixture of the words glamorous and camping, is a more luxurious and comfortable way of camping due to the abundance of amenities offered in the area or campground. Boondocking, also known as wild camping, dry camping, or free camping, is exactly how it sounds. Free camping in the wild without access to amenities. Let's dive into five categories to compare glamping and boondocking. To hook up or not to hook up? That is a good question. This pertains to electric, water, and dump hookups. Depending on your needs or desires, being able to hook up your RV or your setup to electric and water is a part of the glamping lifestyle. It also creates a less stressful experience knowing you have unlimited resources. For those who have self-sustained vehicles or setups may benefit from boondocking more. Being able to create your own power such as solar, generator, or other alternative sources, as well as the ability to carry large amounts of water may possibly create more stress, but it allows you to venture farther off grid. First come first served or reserve and pay, which really sums up this next category. Boondocking, gives you the ability to camp in a multitude of different places free of charge. However, when planning to head to a certain place, there is no way to tell if anyone is around the area or if there is even a place available to park. This can become problematic depending on the area, the time of day, and if there are any other spots close by as a backup plan. Glamping, on the other hand, is a reserve and pay lifestyle as you are guaranteed a secure place to park by paying for it. This can become expensive, especially those who live full time in their RVs. The cost for a campsite can range from $10 to $20 up to a few hundred dollars per night. Also, the time of year and desired area may also cause campgrounds to raise their prices and not even have available reservations. For example, Florida in the winter time. However, many people take to discount programs like Passport America or Thousand Trails, where they can save hundreds or thousands of dollars on campgrounds. Scenic dreams or unknown campsites, which can honestly be seen in both styles of camping. Boondocking allows you to experience places that few have been before. Whether you enjoy camping at the beach or up on a mountain, there is always a place to park somewhere that has amazing views. Many times in which you are able to park wherever you want since there is no assigned spots. This all depends on what you're in, what desire you're trying to achieve, and accessibility. Glamping has access to its share of campgrounds with amazing views, but there is a huge uncertainty of which spot you reserve until you arrive. Just to find out, you're parking right next to a smelly dumpster or a noisy highway. Conveniently placed or conveniently misplaced? Convenience is comfort, and this fits in well with glamping. Many campgrounds are conveniently placed within close proximity of towns, stores, and attractions. However, there are exceptions, and some campgrounds may be in the middle of nowhere, like this RV park in Oregon that I stayed at for a few days. Miles from anywhere. Conveniently misplaced is what I'd consider boondocking whether it's close to roads and towns, in town, or way off grid, and far away from civilization. There are places to park everywhere. Sometimes it takes a bit of work to get to some of those places, but it is well worth it. To be thy neighbor or alone in nature. When it comes to living, well, just about anywhere, you have a big chance of having a neighbor. 
the glamping life almost always guarantees you'll get some kind of neighbor. Neighbors can be good to have as it keeps you from being alone, you can make good friends, or if you need help and assistance. However, there are bad things to having neighbors as well. Noisy and annoying, too close for comfort, or just plain odd people can destroy your vibe and cause your stay to become miserable. Boondocking has the same pros and cons when it comes to neighbors, but a lot less likely due to the amount of space in between each other, like out in the desert. Unless it is a busy congested area like a festival, being alone in nature is just one of the beauties of life. Glamping and boondocking are mainly based on preference. However, just staying one night at a rest area, a truck stop, or parking lot is still considered boondocking. So, glamping or boondocking? Comment below, which one would you prefer? Me personally, I enjoy boondocking as it gives me a chance to enjoy nature without interruption. I also enjoy being self-sustained and not tethered to a power source. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all the love and support. I'll see you next time going for a car ride.